Business Brain, episode 490 for Casual Friday, October 6th, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take a topic or three, we crunch on it, we analyze it, we cogitate on it, we discuss it. So that we can tune our business brains, yours, mine, Shannon's. We tune our business brains together so that we can each keep living that charmed life. Sponsors for this episode include my email provider of choice, fastmail.com slash business brain. That's where you can go to get 10% off your first year. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And out here in Northern California, I'm Shannon Jean. How goes it? It comes and it goes, you know, every day. It keeps on trucking. Good. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's great. Yep. Hey, uh, so I was at a, a pretty large convention this weekend. The yep. topic is is irrelevant to my, uh, you know, what I want to talk about. And one of the things that happened at this event was that we all got a chance to vote on kind of the the platform and the underlying uh reason why this uh, group existed okay. and it was fascinating to me so i i wasn't involved in how that the information was presented that we were voting on but i was right there when uh, i was involved in how it was received and sure it yeah you were it really, sounds like you were a recipient of it in fact i was a recipient yeah. and so I had kind of been eased into it. I'd been talking to people that had been, you know, reaching out to me before this, uh, this convention took place. Sure. And so I had some sense of the why you, you were educated on it. Sure. A little, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I also, to, to put it out there, I love change. Um, it, it's exciting for me. I get bored really quick. I always say I have ADHD, you know, for related to, to business and other things. So for me, I was like, this is great. This is something new. We can try it out. So, so that, that was my framework going in, but that's because you I come was, into things with the two week test mindset, yes, right? It's exactly where I'm headed. Okay. Because, All right. <laughs> yeah, because that, the, the major, I could just see it. The minute this whole thing came up, even before we got in the room, there was a lot of, uh, or significant confusion about why we were voting on this and what it m would mean. Why change uh, it? Why change? Yes. And I, I watched the, the folks that presented this new, uh, these new options to this group, try to explain it. And I walked away and it, it did not pass. No, oh, no surprise. Okay. Uh, it, it failed, you know, 65 to 35. Oh, that's you know, huge. Percent. That's a huge it failure. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. Huge yeah. failure. And, um, I really, it, as I left and I started talking to some of the sponsors of these changes, I said, you know, I think one of the problems is that it was just too much to take in at once. It's too much change. It, it was an entire reframing and changing of nomenclature and the way the words in this, mm. in this thing we were voting on, um, versus making small ch incremental changes over time and, using your two week experiment, uh, trick, um, that framework, it, it would have gone much better. And it, it really hit home and I'd never seen it in a loud, uh, almost hostile crowd because they were so upset that someone was taking away, wanting to take away and change something they had worked on for years, decades, if you, uh, and it was not, the key w is not that the change was that, uh, broad that they were such dramatic changes it was it was the way it was presented yeah so i if, if you have something you're going to roll out with your employees or your customers um you know bringing them along a little at a time making sure that you explain the reasoning behind it taking their feedback uh op you know doing certain things little pieces of it with this hey we're going to try this for two weeks and see how it works if if you want to get this thing done, and in your head you know, hey, this uh, is permanent. By the end, yeah, this, this is going to happen. This massive change to the way we do things is going to ha going to happen. But if you want to get that buy-in that you need for it to be successful, 
you need to think about how you roll it out and, uh, you know, go, go to businessbrain.show and search for the word change. Uh, yeah, Cause we've done a bunch of episodes. I'll put a link in the I, show notes you know. for that search. In fact. Yeah, of course. Man, yeah. It, it, it's we, the, one of the reasons we keep talking about it over time is because it's so important to the success of your business. And for you personally is to get people on board to adopting your framework. Uh, in the, in the works. immortal words of, uh, Neil Peart, change is not permanent. Changes aren't, I'll get it right this time. Changes aren't permanent, but change is. All right, look, one of the things that we can do to ensure we keep living that charmed life is to have a reliable email provider, right? And this is important for our businesses here. And it's not just reliability that we need. It's a provider that has the features that we need and a provider that puts our privacy first. And that's why I am so happy to have Fastmail on board as our sponsor this week. For over 20 years, Fastmail has been a leader in email privacy. It's ad-free and there's no tracking. And they've been around 20 years I've been using Fastmail for my primary email for probably about five years now. You can improve your email productivity with features that they have using things like masked email so that you can create an address that you use for a certain purpose, but then it's not there as just like your main address being out in the world. You can use scheduled send. My gosh, we've talked about the value of that here on the show. Fastmail supports it natively. You can snooze emails. You can build these custom rules. Fastmail understands that email needs to be simple. And speaking of, switching providers is super simple with Fastmail's easy import and export. I migrated over from my Google accounts and I just gave it the login for my Google accounts. Like I went to Fastmail's web interface, gave it the login, went to sleep and woke up the next morning and all my email had been imported from my Google accounts. I was ready to go. You can use your own domains to make custom email addresses and then you can customize Fastmail in so many different ways. To learn more about their service, visit fastmail.com slash business brain for 10% off your first year. And then you can follow them on like Facebook and Twitter slash X Mastodon and LinkedIn again, fastmail.com slash business brain for 10% off. And our thanks to fastmail for sponsoring this episode. All right. Um, we on a different podcast, I do gig gab, which we did a crossover episode. You know, we did that crossover episode of, of gig gab and, and business brain here because we talked about the business of running a band. I think we did it with the wrong episode, Shannon, because last week we interviewed a guy on gig gab, this guy, Adam Moskowitz, who has really systematized the business of running his band. And I'll put a link in the show notes for anybody that wants to listen to it. Whether you are a musician or even like music or not, I, I think you're going to find that fascinating. But that's not why I bring this up. I bring it up All right. because Adam wrote into us and he says, I was recently interviewed on Gig Gab discussing how I run my band as a business utilizing a model that's unique for this part of the music industry, but that I'm taking best pack best practices from the theater industry. Typically, he says a Broadway show has a cast, but all major roles have what they call understudies. That way, the show and therefore the business is not reliant on any one individual and cannot be canceled since there's a backup for each role. He says, I have used that philosophy to, to build and run my regional music band business, and it's been very fruitful to embrace. The band that he runs is a, a function kind of. Uh, cover wedding band. They play songs that other people wrote cover songs and they'll play corporate functions, uh, events like, you know, town fairs and those sorts of things, weddings, that kind of thing. He says, similar, similarly, sports teams have more players than they need for any one game, a deep bench. If you will, they can pull from for different types of situations that arise. It's out of the ordinary for what people typically know a band to be. And I sometimes get pushback from booking agents that are closed minded about the possibilities that this arrangement allows. They just see different faces in my photos and videos and don't understand how we can possibly be great with a rotating cast. Some pros are that we've never had to say no to a date. We've also never had to cancel a show. I can always find a replacement, even with less than 24 hours notice, he says, which has happened a handful of times. But he explained on the show that he has 
uh, for every position in the band, he's got essentially a bench of four players deep. So, you know, he calls his first call or maybe, and maybe he doesn't even have a first call, but, you know, call his first call uh, bass player. If that person's not available, no problem. Just call the second person on the list. They're all up to date. And the system that he has built for ensuring that everyone that shows up to play the gig with him is playing the same arrangement of the songs with all the lyrics. He's got teleprompters. He's got this whole, it's more than that though. It's crazy how he has built these tracks that, that guide the band through the songs, making sure everything's at the right tempo. It It's no wonder that he's able to put on a great show every time. So he asks, do you have any advice on how to convert those with a fixed mindset to my new way of thinking, or am I better off expecting them to stay as they are and focusing my energy on new connections that understand the growth mindset? So really, yeah, the question here is how to open the minds of closed minded customers. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I like this concept and and I like it's the brilliant. way I wish the wedding yeah. band that I played in operated under this concept because it would it would actually alleviate my stress if I have to say no to a gig now. It means the band probably isn't going to be able to play. Or if they do, they've got to rehearse with a new drummer. If it was Adam's band, I'd be just be like, well, yeah, go get number two. Like, Great. Now, if I say that enough, number two becomes number one. Uh, you know, there's that risk too, but you know, yeah. that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. I think that the, I think the key is perhaps is in uh, one of the ways he explained it, where he really, they're really a band of professionals. He, he yeah. explained it as a pro sports team, but he's a band of professionals. As such, we have this. So, so that, 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 that's the way I would frame it. But one question I have is, do they have to know? Do people care? Do, are they going to see a specific now lead singer or guitarist yeah, to see this different. band? The only person that's the same is Adam. He plays guitar in this band. Now, in, in theory, he could replace himself too. In addition to being the guitar player, though, he is the music director. So yeah. he is essentially conducting the show. So he would need to bring someone in who could conduct that show for him. But I mean, it's trainable. I think, and I mentioned this on a follow up episode on Gig Gab, I think this is a concept right oh, for yeah. franchising. I, you know, yes. like, cause he's already built so much of these tracks and guide. It's really guide tracks with lyrics and chords and a click track in the, in the player's ears so that everybody's on the same page. And the click track isn't just a click. It'll say, all right, we're going to play superstition by Stevie wonder next in the key of E flat. Uh, here's the count in is going to be four. It starts with drums. One, two, three, four drums, two, three, four keys, two, three, four. And the keys are in like, it guides you yeah, through, yeah. says where the choruses are, where the verses are. It's amazing, but it keeps the prep time for any musician that comes in. If they are a pro, they need very little prep time because everything yeah. is just spoon cool. fed. Yeah. Why wouldn't yeah, so it be I, like, this yeah. isn't you're, you're going and playing songs. Other people wrote for an audience that isn't there to see your band. They're there to be entertained and you guarantee that. So I, I really think that, yeah, the marketing of this is the key. Now, one way to do that is to obscure the fact that there are different members every time by, um, by maybe making the pictures and the videos. I, I don't want to say blurring faces, right? Like yeah. you need to be more creative about it than that, but well, maybe so, you got to go with kind of the caricature type of, yeah. of uh, logo and and for your your promotional material and your website where you have a you know a kind of a more vague image of what who's playing guitar and drums yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah, and and then you, I think you go one of two ways: you just don't mention it because it becomes irrelevant because you're you're so professional, or which I like better. Uh, turning that weakness into, um, you know, a strength of why this works. And to your point, trying to, you know, expand beyond your local market to get other people to use this technique. I think it's a great idea. I, yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, it, it, yes. He was explaining it to us. I was like, oh man, like this is, he put a lot of work into creating these tracks. Yeah. Right. But now he says they play, you know, they'll play every weekend. They play a new song, probably multiple times in, in some weekends, I would assume. 
He says they play a new song at almost every show. No cover band that I know of does that because, you know, you got five people, six people, you get them together, you learn all the songs. It's like, okay, great. We've got 40 songs. Let's go. We're ready to rock. He's got like 150 songs and every gig he builds a new one. He says it takes him about an hour to build the new song. And then he just tells the, the people who are on the gig, learn, you know, this song, he builds it all. And then he just triggers it from his laptop as from the stage and everybody's got the guides. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I, and I think that, uh, it's all in how you present it. I, I like, you know, this caricature idea. I mean, uh, you know, if you take yeah. the theater idea, yeah. I mean, you could Same put thing. people in wigs or when, you could just say every, every musician has an understudy. Mm. So you'll be, you know, going a little further with that theater thing. Yeah. Every one of our band has an understudy. So there will never be someone that's not there that doesn't know how everything works. We're one of the few bands. Oh, there you go. The, that's maybe, it. Maybe, maybe the only band you'll book that has an understudy for every uh, position in the band. Now, does it matter that there's three or four understudies or whatever that he moves around? I don't think so. No, of course what it doesn't matters, matter. Yeah. Yeah. What matters is it's super professional. Most, I, and, I, and I'm going to speculate here, I would imagine that most those kind of bands maybe aren't run as professional as a business. Or so the, 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 the ones that are do this anyway. Now, they don't have the yes. guide tracks that Adam does, but they, yes. you know, it, it's not uncommon at all for... Yeah. Uh, like I, I play in this band called Uptown Celebration. It's, it's, it's this kind of band. We play weddings and functions. We very rarely play just like public gigs at clubs because they don't pay what this band wants to make. And we yeah. showed up at a, a person's house that we played a private party this summer for him. And I got there. Our band leader was already there. He was kind of coming out of the backyard as I was sort of walking in. And the owner of the house came up to me and said, hey, you know, thanks for being. Here. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Dave. I'm the drummer. Thanks for having us. It's great to be here. And and he moved on. And then Gary, our our leader and, and guitar player, came up to me and he's like, yeah, by the way, you aren't meeting him for the first time. We uh, played for yeah, him, yeah. you know, six years ago before you joined the band. And he doesn't know that we've changed out any members. And I'm like, it's great. Perfect. I'm like, did I yeah. say anything wrong? He's like, no, if you did, I would have nudged you. I'm like, okay, got it. Yep. All good. And, and, you know, and like, it didn't matter. I knew we were going to put out a good product, but it, there's no reason for the client to know that there's a, a replacement or a sub or whatever. Like the gig we had played yes. the weekend before what our bass player was sick. So we had a bass player that none of, well, one of us had met, it was the brother of our singer, but none of the rest of us had ever met. And certainly we'd never played with this guy before he showed up, he prepped all the songs. Now he had to do the work to prep them. And then he, you know, he, he rocked it. He was great. And the client never knew. In fact, unless they can deduce what gig I'm talking about, they still don't know because it's not relevant. So I yes. think that's the that's the thing that that Adam needs to embrace here is that these people are only obsessed about it because you're telling them. Now, if your videos are communicating this and you're and and they're gonna find out, then to your point, Shannon, you've got to lead with this and make it a strength. And I yeah, love I think this. so. We're the only band you'll book that has an understudy for every position. I mean, yeah. what more do you need to Super say? That's reliable. It. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows. Yeah. 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 You're not a band of subs. That's the, don't yeah. call them subs. Cause they're not subs. You no. have a band of they're understudies. They're understudies. Yeah. yeah. Great. I love it. I love it. Great idea. Yeah. I like the, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting concept because in business often, especially as you're growing, people get used to dealing with one person all the time. Yep. And it, be, it can become problematic when you're like, okay, that and maybe it's you or, you know, yeah. and that you're moving to another role or offloading the client to someone else that can better serve them. So getting your customers used to having other people interface with them is important. And, you know, with, with it, with this concept, with the band, Get some testimonials from people yeah. who have booked the band multiple times it, that that speak to this, right? Like, oh, it's yeah. I love Van it's Band. It everyone that they've brought is fantastic. The show is always high quality. It doesn't matter, you, you know. Like it, when people go see Wicked on Broadway, 
they don't say, well, yes. you only want to go see it if it's all the principles, not the understudies. Then it's not going to happen. You don't yep. know until Got you it. show up. It shows up in your program long after you've paid for a ticket. So, yeah. Good stuff. I like it. Yeah, man. It's great stuff. Thanks for that, Adam. Good stuff. And you, Adam, are entered into a drawing to win a new MacBook Air. Maybe it's something, if you win it, you'd use on stage. Folks, feedback at businessbrain.show. Email us there. Your questions, your comments. If we include them in the show in any way, you are entered into this drawing. Ten more episodes. We will be doing that drawing for the MacBook Air. And you could be the winner. The pool is smaller than you think. I mean, you could do the math. You know who, how many we've mentioned in the shows. Yep. It's, it's the not odds that many. Are, the odds are in, in your, your favor. favor. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. Thanks for sending in your stuff, too. Again, feedback at businessbrain.show. Keep living that charmed life and have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. <laughs>